This video is going to provide a quick summary of Kepler's three laws of planetary motion. The first law says that all orbits are ellipses. What this animation is showing is the location of the foci for an ellipse, and when they come together, it becomes a special case called a circle. The star that you're orbiting or the planet that you're orbiting, whatever that body is, it's going to be at one of these foci. It might be two bodies at each foci, or one body at only one foci, but it's got to be at one of the foci. If it's a circle, obviously it's right in the middle. If you look at this animation on the second law, you'll notice something about the blue, the blue planet going around the star. It goes faster when it gets closer. That's not the second law, but that's a result of the second law, is that it goes faster when it gets closer to the object that it's orbiting. What the second law actually says is that equal areas are swept out during equal time intervals. So these lines that are drawn are between the star and the planet, say, every week. So every week, I take a look at where the planet is, and I draw a line between the center of the planet and the center of the star. Then if I close the end of the lines and make them into little triangles, what I can see is that the areas of all those little triangles are the same. So the areas of the triangles on the right are the same as the areas of the triangle on the left. In order to accomplish that, when I get closer, it's got to have a bigger base on the triangle, so the little blue planet's got to travel faster. So equal areas are swept out at equal time intervals. This is also a conservation of rotational inertia, or angular momentum. The third law is a mathematical relationship. It says that every object that you orbit, the body itself, has its own little Kepler constant, and that's defined by the period squared of the satellite orbiting divided by the radius cubed of the satellite orbiting. The radius is measured from the center of the satellite to the center of the body. So in this little animation, I've got the space shuttle, some kind of man-made satellite, the moon, and some pink ball going around the, the Earth. They all have the same relationship of t squared over r cubed. It gives you the same value every time you take the space shuttle's period and its distance, or the satellite's period and its distance cubed, and you compare them, you get the exact same value. Now the sun also has a constant for all the planets going around it. So the Earth's period divided by its distance between the center of the Earth and the center of the sun, the Mar uh, Mars, its period, its distance, all these relationships are the same for the sun. So the Earth has one constant, the sun has a different constant. But the, everything that orbits the object has that constant in common. So Jupiter has a constant, the moon has a constant, Mars has a constant, the sun has a constant. They're all different, but every object that orbits that body has the same result or the same constant for that body itself. So it's kind of a, a quick summary of things. Here's the first law. Second law, remember you can pause the video if you want to read. And the third law.